Margaret. How are you? It's good to see you. I'm back to read another story. About what? Yeah, you guessed it. Feelings. Yeah, we're talking about feelings, our emotions. Today is, I'm super excited about this book. Today we're going to read A Little Peaceful Spot. We've been talking a lot about the peaceful spot. Today we get to read about it. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's green. The peaceful spot is green. Should we read it? Are you guys ready? All right, let's do it. All right. A Little Peaceful Spot. Hi, I'm Peaceful Spot. Your peaceful spot helps you feel relaxed and calm. Mm. I love feeling relaxed and calm. It's a good feeling. And today, I'm going to show you how to get to your peaceful spot. Oh, wow! I'm excited! Oh, boy. Ta-da! Here it is. Isn't it beautiful? Because you are calm and relaxed right now, it's really easy to spot. Hmm, that does look very relaxing, very calm. But when a big spot of emotion shows up, it can become overwhelming. And then it can be hard to see this calm, peaceful spot. Hmm, that's why it's important to look for your peaceful spot. As soon as one of these spots of emotion start to get too big. But first, you need to identify what spot of emotion shows up. Oh, remember, friends, we've been talking about this. Whether it's gray anxiety, where you're worried or anxious or nervous about something. <gasps> Blue, sad. Something's made you sad. Or red, anger. Yeah, those are the emotions. And remember how Miss Margaret talked about how every feeling is okay? Yeah, every feeling you have is okay. But what we want to be able to do is whenever you're feeling these, we want to be able to help you so you can feel this. Yeah, let's find out more about this. Is it your angry spot? Hmm. So sometimes you might feel angry. You got to ask yourself, is it your angry spot? Are you feeling frustrated because you can't find something? Or annoyed because you tried to do something and it didn't turn out like you expected? Hmm. Or your anxiety spot. Are you feeling worried about trying something new or scared that you won't pass your test? Or is it your sadness spot? Are you feeling lonely because no one will play with you or disappointed because you dropped your delicious popsicle? Hmm. Yeah, those are all the emotions. Each emotion can be managed in a different way. That is why it's important to identify which one you are feeling. Look at friends. So there's nervous, worried, scared, disappointed, lonely, loss, annoyed, hurt, frustrated. Yeah, those are all feelings. It's good when you're able to identify it and, and then you're able to say, I'm mad, I'm angry, I'm sad, I'm worried. Yeah, it's okay to say those things. Once you have identified the spot of emotion, it makes it easier to guide you to your peaceful spot. 
If you are having a hard time figuring out which spot of emotion it is, it can help if you write or draw how you're feeling. Hmm. I love writing and drawing. We talked about that in one of the stories before too. Now it's time to turn that spot of emotion into a peaceful spot. Sometimes it helps to fill your peaceful spot with a lot of amazing, peaceful things. Hmm. Let's look at some times when you were peaceful. Let's add those things to your peaceful spot. Get some crayons and paper for some peaceful coloring or find some peaceful music or some peaceful pictures for meditation. How about some books for peaceful reading and writing? Oh, all of these things look really peaceful. Hmm. I feel relaxed just watching it, looking at the picture. Let's add a chart for calm breathing too. <gasps> Spot pattern breathing. <gasps> in, out, in, out, in, out, like this. Yeah, you did it. Friends, you're so smart. Imagine a pattern of several green spots. Breathe in with the swirls and out with the dots. My emotions are now in this peaceful place. I will be calm when I leave this space. Mm. Here are some other breathing tricks you can do. Each saying is for a different emotion. Friends, do you remember we did these in our other books? Remember when we were talking about anger and we talked about count the spots from one to four? Tap, 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 tap once more. Yeah. Now fill your lungs with peaceful air and coat your spots with love and care. You remember? And then there was anxiety. Yeah. From the tip of my fingers to the middle of my palm, I can do this. I can be calm. This worry grew too big and cannot stay. Take a deep breath and blow it away. Yeah. And then there was the sad spot where circle the spots in the middle of your palm. Count the swirls down to calm. Around and around and around twice more. One, then two, then three, then four. Each time you trace around the spots, take a deep breath to calm your thoughts. Yeah, we did all of those. Oh, wow, it's working already. Look how calm he looks. And I love the big cozy chair too. Oh my goodness, he does look relaxed. Yeah. I wonder, maybe in your classroom, there's a spot that you can go to when you need to calm down and find your peaceful spot. You should ask your teacher about that. You will? Thanks, friends. Okay, I think I've given you enough tools to help you find your peaceful spot. I'll be looking forward to seeing you soon. Oh, oh, that peaceful spot. Here's what we read. Yep. Imagine a pattern of several green spots. Breathe in with the swirls and out with the dots. My emotions are now in this peaceful place and I will be calm when I leave this space. In and out, in and out, in and out. That was good breathing, friends. Ah, oh, 
I do like the green peaceful spot. Yeah, it's a good one. All right, friends. Until I see you next time, I'm still missing you. Thanks for letting me read with you. Thanks for learning about all these emotions and all these feelings. And thanks for letting me talk to you about them. Because it is okay to talk about our feelings and to talk about what's inside and what we are feeling. So that then the people that are around you, your teachers, your parents, they can help you. Yeah, yeah help you with your feelings and hopefully try and get you back to a peaceful spot. That feels the best. I love you, friends. I miss you. Hopefully, I'll be seeing you soon.